Hello guys, today I want to show you another Laravel Livewire example. And this is bulk editing of a list of items. So for example, you have products with category and you can select a few products like this. Click bulk edit and change the category for multiple of them. Save changes and the category is changed. So how to do it in Livewire without any line of JavaScript? I asked my colleague Carolis to create that demo project for me. And he surprised me with two lessons, not only Livewire lesson, but in this video, you will also see the collection lessons, Laravel collections, how to transform this array and selected checkboxes and categories, quite a lot of Laravel collections in this video. Let's go to the code. The component consists of two files. The component itself, you can call it a controller and then the blade file. So let's see what we have here. In the blade, we have for each of the products and every product checkbox has wire model to selected products with index of product ID. So it's an array with this index, with this key. So whenever we check or uncheck that checkbox, selected products is changed. Then we have a variable bulk disabled. So bulk edit button is active only if you select more than one product like this. So you can see it's active now. But if I disable that, if I uncheck some checkbox, it's disabled again. So this, then in the view what we have categories in the model window, it's based on Bootstrap framework. And in here we have the category drop down, selected category, and we set the value if I select two categories or two products with the same category, then this is selected. So it's products with the same category. But if I select something, at least one of them from different category, that value should be null. Okay, so here are the blade variables. Also, wire click change category actually changes the category in the database. And now let's see the component. Step by step, what do we have here? In the mount, it's kind of like constructor of Livewire component. We select the categories from the database, they won't change. So we do it once in the mount in the constructor, and then we reload the data. Reload the data will be a function that will be called in the beginning of the component and then each time after updating the category. So it could be called like reset state or reset defaults or something like that. So we set the selected category to null, we reload the products with new categories, and then we set the selected products all to false. I will get to that in a minute how it works under the hood. This is the collections magic. So on the mount we reload the data. Then in render, which actually shows the component, shows the blade, Another eloquent magic function, we will get to that in a minute, selected category, basically in the model window, should some category be selected like this or should it be null? And then also bulk disabled. So it is disabled whenever selected products is less than two. Then whenever the category is saved, so here wire click change category, we call the method change category, which runs the eloquent query to update the category by IDs of the keys that have been selected. That is also Laravel collection stuff. And then there's one more helper private method to selected products, select the keys of them. So nothing really too fancy, but I was really impressed how Carlos did collection magic. So let's go one by one. Selected products. My first question, how do I understand all those methods? What are the values? What is map flip and map doing? If you don't work with Laravel collections daily, it's not really readable for you. But let's do it step by step. So on any Laravel collections, you can do DD. So let's do it step by step. Our goal here for selected products, that we would have an array of key false, then another key also false, and that key is product ID. So this is our goal to have this array. So it would set the values here, selected products. So all of them should be false, which means checkbox unchecked. So this is our goal. And let's see step by step how we get to that. So this products, what is the value of this products? Refresh the whole page. So we have 50 products, just Laravel eloquent models. Next, map through the products. Uncomment that. And also we use PHP 7.4 short closures function, which makes the collections magic as I call them that beautiful and short. So map basically iterates through the collection and sets new values to a new collection. So instead of having products as eloquent models, we will have as a result collection of these values. So collection of product IDs. Let's refresh. 
And as you can see, well, it's array with values of IDs in the database. But remember, our goal is to have IDs as keys, and here we will have false on the right side. So method flip, collection method flip, flips the keys and the values. So if I DD that one, like this, refresh, as you can see, it flips the values. So IDs are now the keys. And this is exactly what we need. The only thing to change, we need to replace those values all with false. And this is exactly done with another map. And if we DD the final result, like this, see, we got to exactly what we needed in the beginning. So example of a collection magic, as I said. Next collection magic is in here. Or actually, let's talk about a shorter one. So bulk disabled. So we have selected products. So our array that we have just set these selected products. And we filter through those. Filter is an eloquent collection function that filters out some of the collection items if it doesn't match the condition. And this is another short trick. So short closure function of argument and this P is one product. And if it's false, then the whole condition is false, which means product is not selected. I'm not sure if you're following, but you can debug yourself. The code will be available on GitHub. So we're filtering only the selected products, the check checkbox, then we count them. And if it's less than two, so zero or one check, then bulk disabled is true. And in the blade, I will remind you bulk disabled. If it's bulk disabled, then we add that property, otherwise no. And finally, the third collection magic, as I call them, probably the most complex here, so selected category for the model value. We get all the products. Remember, we queried them from the database here. We filter the products and leave only those that are selected. Get selected products is a private method I've shown you. Similar to what we've seen already, selected products, we're filtering only the checkbox checked and we get the keys. So another eloquent collection method, keys. So product IDs. And then back to our main thing, we check if selected products contains the product ID that we're iterating. So by this stage, we should have product IDs that are selected, checked the checkbox, then we map through them and get their category IDs. So if we have three products checked and the category ID is one, two, and two, for example, we would have by this point, we would have array or collection of three items, one, two, and two. Then we get unique. So how many unique categories are, if it's one, two, and two, then unique, the result will be one and two. So it would drop out all the duplicated ones. And then finally, another eloquent method called pipe, it's returning one value from all the collection, like doing some operation. And inside of that function, what operation we're doing. So remember, we have a collection of one, two, for example, and we're doing count and checking if it's one. So if we have only one category selected, then we're returning the first one and it will be the first ID of the category. Otherwise, we return null. And this is used in the blade in the model window. Scroll down a bit, categories in here. So wire model selected category corresponds to selected category here. And everything is in the variables inside of LiveWire component. So this project, in my opinion, is an example of pretty low amount of code written, but quite a lot of time to think how to transform data to achieve that short code. As usual, the GitHub repository is available in the description of this video. And for more stuff on LiveWire, you can check out my separate course on teachable.com about LiveWire or subscribe to this channel because I will shoot more videos about Livewire and Laravel in general. So see you guys in other videos.